Hello guys and welcome, it is the SW2 Dude here today bringing you yet another episode of How To Get Good. The series where I go ahead, pick a weapon, use all its parents and teach you guys how to get good with it. I also have the addition of the hand cam to show you guys what's going on with my hands when I'm using that weapon. Now today's episode is going to be shorter than usual because there's only two variants of this one. We are going to be using the Jet Squelcher. Uh, starting off with the very first Jet Squelcher, I would say honestly probably the, the most un misunderstood weapon. Uh, next to the sploosh matic because, you know, recently, well, not not really recently, but there was a time period where not a lot of people really liked, liked the sploosh matic or used to meme with it, and then eventually you started seeing more people use it in tournament, which is kind of funny, but... Anyways, to talk about the Jet Sculpture, I love this thing. This is a very, very nice weapon, and I honestly think a lot, a lot of people really know how to use this thing at all, <laughs> to be very honest. I guess the very... Uh, the, the very, I guess the vanilla one. A lot of people do use the other variant, which is the custom jet sculpture, which was something that was vastly used when Stingray was very strong. I personally still think it's very strong, but either way, I'll talk to you guys about it when we get to that weapon. Well, the, the vanilla jet sculpture, or just the jet sculpture, comes with poison mist and tenter missiles, and uh, that's basically it. Obviously, that's you know, it's a tenter missile spamming type of weapon with loads of range. It plays backline and. Uh, it's fairly accurate. Now, to take a look at the build I'm going to be running, it is a main power-up build of Ink Resist and uh, Bomb Defense and all that type of stuff. Why the main power-up? Well, if you didn't realize, main power-up actually extends the range of the Jet Squelcher uh, to a little bit further than you would think. It actually shoots fairly far if you put quite a bunch of it on. And would it shock you if I was to say that if you put a bunch of it on, you could actually outrange a heavy splatling or be in the same range now of a regular ballpoint splatling? You probably wouldn't know that until I told you just now. But yes, this is actually true. Oops, this is the build. Let's get into it. Let's get into the games and show you guys the jet sculpture. All right, guys. So here we are. Once again, Rainmaker. Now, this is going to be interesting. Uh... It's gonna be difficult, especially for one map, this map. <laughs> the Jet Sculpture on this map is... Eh, it's not one of my favorites to use. Piranha Pit, yeah, probably a really nice Jet Sculpture map, but this map, eh, it's a little bit... Eh, it's a little bit weird. But, it's okay. I'll do my best to still try and do, uh, do what I can to see, uh, you know, if we can win and all that type of stuff. Now, I'm just gonna chill on the snipe just to go ahead and pop it because uh, out of every single, I guess, all the shooters, this is actually one of the most longest ranging shooters, so... Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, take most of my situations within the range of... Well, basically within my range. And not try to get, I guess, too close to certain things, unless I can. Knows that point sensor, whoever threw that is very nice, not gonna lie. Uh, Jet Scotch is actually there, but he's gonna get popped by one of my friends here. Uh, the end zap is gonna pick it up, but I'm gonna stop that straight away because he does not need to be pushing that right, right now. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> I thought I should mention too, uh, using the main, using main power up on a jet sculpture, it actually makes the accuracy of the weapon, uh, a little bit more accurate. Which is actually quite nice to know. So, uh, just know that if you're shooting from afar, just know that most of your shots are gonna be fairly accurate, uh, when you, uh, when you're shooting. <laughs> so, I'm actually gonna take this position. We have like so much ink right now, so... I, I think I can kill this charger right here. Oh, I think I could. There we go. There is another guy here. Oh, I ran out of ink. Uh. Do I challenge this? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There we go. Thank you very much. That was kind of dangerous, not gonna lie. I'm actually gonna try and get onto the top left here if I can. The charger is chilling there, but he's gonna be... Taken out straight away. Oh, he'll lose this. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, this weapon is a four-shot kill, by the way. <laughs> I thought I should mention, because uh, it doesn't kill very fast. Unless, like, you hit every single one of your shots, then it's, you know, you're going to be shredding people. But, yeah. Just, I guess, one thing that you might want to, like, be very careful of is that, you know, it, it's a four-shot, and it shoots only as fast as it does, so... But either way, that wasn't really a- that was a pretty decent game. I mean, we won, so it obviously it was decent. And of course, we were double backline too. I think they were as- they, they were as well. They actually had things to- to stop us, but they didn't use any of their specials, so... 
Let's just get another game in with a regular vanilla jet, because I really do like using this. Alright guys, so here we are, into our next game, using the very same, well, the same weapon basically, the vanilla jet sculpture. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Alright, it's actually going to be on Piranha Pit, which is, I'd say it's a better map for this weapon, because it's a, it's a very flat map, and it's, it's fairly open. It's fairly open, so you got a lot of good angles to actually use this weapon, so... Uh, I'll give a beer to that guy. I see him in my stream sometimes. You should, you, if you guys watch this video, you know, you should come out to the streams. We stream, like, every, uh, every Wednesday to Sunday. We play a lot of Splatoon, and we're just, you know, out here having good conversations and playing all kinds of weapons, so. But, enough about that. How do we get good with this thing? Uh, using your range, of course. Alright, so I'm gonna toss that. We got a Poison Mist. Well, not Poison Mist, a, uh, Tentamethal Hill there. I might be able to challenge this. I got so much range to really work with, so it's just like... I can just chill here and just shoot these people. And, uh, have really no issue. Oh! No, he was actually one shot. Now, if I tried hard enough, I probably would have, uh... I probably would have killed that guy. Because <laughs> I didn't really do much. I was kind of watching him go because I thought that, uh, he wasn't going to move anymore, so... Uh, my bad there. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways... Just gonna paint up this area. You don't have to do a lot of running with this weapon because you've got so much range to work with, so... You know, what's the point of running if, uh, you can shoot pe from- If you can shoot people from afar, basically. Uh, I'm actually gonna Toxic Mist that. Okay, never mind, the Tenzer Missile's gonna kill me anyway, and it's just the thing right now. If someone- Okay, I guess I'll pick it up. I was gonna hope for one of my teammates to actually go ahead and pick that up. Uh, mainly because it would have- I would have been able to watch the charger while my other two guys pushed up. Uh, it doesn't matter though. It doesn't matter. We got it to 63 anyway. It's not a safe lead, to be honest. Uh, I'm just gonna chill here. Just try and get a little bit of ink down. I'm just gonna be very careful with how these guys are trying to push, because right now it's looking kind of dangerous, not gonna lie. Now, it looks like they're going all to the right, which is, I guess, not recommended. I wouldn't recommend anyone going this way if uh, you're playing Rainmaker, especially. Missile these last two guys. It's gonna be a little awkward for them. There we go. They're gonna get killed by a missile. It's just one guy we have to worry about. He's gonna come over here. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, never mind. We're gonna missile you. I need more ink. <laughs> I gotta recharge my ink tank here. Mm, that guy is very weak. Oh god. Do not die. If I can actually stop this guy. I'm actually gonna die. I'll rest in peace myself. Alright. They have moved to the left. They... Whoa, okay. You're not gonna kill that guy? Okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised about that because... I mean, I... I'm pretty sure we would've just easily killed them, but... Anyways, let's just push back. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna be more aggro now. Which I didn't choose... I, I guess I, I didn't want to be more aggro with this thing because it's not necessary, but... It's, I, I guess I have, to, I have to in this situation now. Now, we are fragging them quite hard. There is one guy chilling on the left. That guy is very weak. I'm well surely I'm gonna die. I think the assistance of the rain cloud actually kind of helped them there. But, does seem like we're pushing up, which is great to see. We just killed two. Ooh, never mind, that guy just killed another one, but... Again, we're pushing to the left side, which is something I would not recommend at all. You should never be doing this. I just need to kill this guy. Oh, I'm actually out of ink. For whatever reason, my teammate thinks if I do the exact same thing that this team did, then we'll win. But, you know, in a lot of cases, that's not really the case. It's just more of, we should probably play smart still, you know, to some point. Now, oh, wait, I don't have the Raymaker. I thought I had the Raymaker there, but I guess I don't. Pop it, my friends. Oh, can I pluck it up, please? All right. Lead is ours! <laughs> I'm not really too sure what was happening in that game, but... I mean, we still won. We did everything necessary to win, so I think it's... I think it's still a win on our part. <laughs> it's just a... It's just a win. There's just... just there, are, there are things in solo queue where I'm just like, why? I mean, we could just walk forward and go to the right and we be done with it, but we always... In Raymake, it feels like... If a team does something to us, we have to do the exact same thing, which is just like... Why? It doesn't have to be like that, but... Yeah, let's get into the next Jet Scorcher, basically. <laughs> All 
Okay guys, so we are now moving on to the custom jet sculpture, which is the one where I'm not actually going to be using main power up for this. Even though it probably worked really well, but uh, this isn't the type of weapon that uh, you kind of... This isn't the type of weapon where you use the weapon, which is really weird to say. But uh, as you can see with the build, it is basically oriented to my stingray, amazingly. Uh, the, you have the, I guess, the main of ink resistance, but that's just for me to be able to stay in ink if I am in a few fights and to be honest i don't even really need it since i do have the burst bomb so but it's still nice to have because I, I get annoyed by standing in ink basically but as you can see special charge and special power up this is basically everything to you know it's all focused on this thing right and getting it fast and uh basically using it in many situations so let's get into it and let's go and play that jet sculpture stuff all right so hoping for no very strange games. <laughs> My fingers are crossed uh, that we don't get a, a strange game. Thankfully, it's going to be on Piranha Pit. Uh, because now we're going to be able to have full usage of my Stingray. Which is nice. I love that. I love that I can actually use my Stingray. Uh, the only thing that is... Oh, we're we'll double backline, dead double backline. It's, there's going to be a lot of Stingrays in this game. <laughs> It's gonna be a complete light show because their charger and heavy have a stingray, we have a stingray, and it's just gonna be yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stingray, so I don't know if I'm hitting him or not. I'm hitting someone down there. It's they're fairly weak. Uh as you can see we started off uh what's it called? We started with the Raymaker in the middle, so I couldn't exactly use my stingray straight away, unfortunately. Uh I probably shouldn't have used it straight away because I was just hitting the Raymaker thinking I was going to hit someone there. So uh, that's probably my bad on that situation. But that's okay. We can uh, try and do our best to do our best to try and stop this. I just kind of want to get within range uh, to be able to do this safely. Their charge is going to go down. So now they're, uh, they're one sting right down, basically. Just don't die here, basically. I'm just going to make sure this part is uh, basically clear. Uh, do I jump out and challenge this guy? Yes, I do. We ha he has two stingrays on him. I'm not too sure where he went, went off to, but that's okay, I guess. It's a little bit of a struggle here. <laughs> and the missiles actually get that kill there. There we go. That's another kill. They have actually moved back. I'm just kind of watching them. I stay in this position. Should be able to kill him. There we go. Nice. That heavy is gonna stop us, unfortunately. He did jump out, and he does have Sting right now. So I'm just kind of yep. There we go. I don't know where he bouncy just went. It's gonna be a trade of stingrays there. I mean, I had the first shots on him, but he kind of moved around. Uh, if I had an idea of where he was moving to, that might have been a little bit better of a situation, but I guess that's okay. They've already used one Stingray, so that's gonna slow us down a little bit. Oh god. Oh. This is gonna be very good. Unfortunately for me, the pro's gonna push me there. Uh, he has pushed up quite far, so we gotta be very careful about this. And, uh... I'm just gonna try... Oh, oh, they're gonna push it up to the left side, I guess. There we go. The pro is very weak. One shot. I don't know if there's someone up here. That guy is very weak. The Stingray's gonna kill him. And one guy just jumped out, so perfect for us. We can actually get a fat push off this. Bear in mind if I can get my Stingray on time. Uh, I just don't know whereabouts this person is. And this thing is really weak. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and avoid this little cost. I'm not going to try and uh, push too hard with it. I'm not too sure if my teammate is struggling here. I just can't see anything right now. Uh, let's move to the left here. It's hard to really get myself... Get into something because they're all just kind of stingraying away. <laughs> So it's just like, as much as I want to challenge you guys and... Oh wow, alright, well I guess we're flanking now. It's going to be a little bit awkward. There we go, I don't know where the charger is. Yeah, he's actually back in spawn still. Nicely done. I'm actually going to try and get some 
or get a burst one kill on him. He's actually just gonna jump out there. I have pushed up. The charger is dead. Oh, there's a guy on the left. We actually might. Oh, never mind. That's actually really good. I, the beacon over here is actually kind of confusing me. Not gonna lie. Uh, but if we push, we should push further than we push right now. Like we need to push up uh, way further. If I can get a couple of hits here, nope. Just try to distract them. There we go. That's a s small kill there. Pick it up, my friend. There we go. Nice. I'm paying for you. Nice. All right. This is a very strange game. <laughs> I really need to know. I, I don't really know. I'm actually just going to chill here and uh, see if we can get something going. I mean, all we need to do is just kind of stingray them. So I'm just going to try and charge mine as well and see if we can get something going as well. Uh, he's going to push me out. He's going to be very aggressive because, you know, he kind of committed there. But again, I have the stingray here. That stingray is dead. No. Okay. The Raymaker is weak. There we go. Nice. <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say, honestly. Those games was, I mean, that game was strange. Because it's, it was a strange game because it was double backline for both sides. So it's just like, what do we really do? <laughs> Like, I had to be a little bit aggressive, I guess, to fulfill that other aggressive role, but I'm not too sure. That, I mean, that was a really strange game, but we'll take it for now, and uh, I'll see you guys on the weapon screen. Alright, so that final game was very strange. Very strange. Undoubtedly, that was probably one of the strangest games that I'm probably going to have in this How to Get Good series, because, uh, well, I mean, I've, I still got a bunch of other weapons to do, but... This by far takes the cake of strangest games I've had, because it was just... Nothing really happened. We just kind of stingrayed and... Stingraids? <laughs> I don't really know what to say, honestly. I mean, we have the range. I mean, I, I hopefully like I taught you guys enough about the Jets coaches that this thing is literally a stingray bot. Personally, I, I'm not the greatest stingray user. I, I, I can admit it. I am not the greatest stingray user, so you're probably not going to see the best gameplay there, but... I can at least say that this is a type of weapon where you get Stingray as fast as you possibly can. Since it's 180 ink, so it gets Stingray fairly fast in comparison to other weapons in this game. Uh, so, you know, on Rainmaker, Tower Control, things like that. Maybe even Clam Blitz, or probably not Clam Blitz, maybe Zones and all less. But uh, those those modes, this is the type of weapon that you'll probably use. Uh, as for the Vanilla Jet Scorcher, this is a very hard thing to say because I really, really like this weapon. And I, I really like it because it can just slay from extremely far away. Uh, bear in mind if you are accurate with the weapon, which is something that you probably need to be. Uh, this weapon does take quite a bit of practice to actually learn to be accurate because uh, it's not it's not easy at all. But it's very very fun. Uh, I didn't the thing I didn't exactly say when I was playing with it is that you can run into a lot of close range situations with this and use the 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 poison mist as theoretically a wool and um, because I guess the mindset of uh, how people think in this game is that once you throw a point sensor at them their initial thought is I need to get out of this because I don't want to be slow or run out of ink so honestly it doesn't exactly really matter where you throw it you could just throw it like right next to you like right on you like and I can show you in the test range like we can Go into a little situation here just to say, oh, there's a player that's right next to me right here. What I'm going to probably do is throw a point poison mist on the floor. And basically that player is going to be like, all right, let me run out, run away. I'll get out of the poison mist or go around it. So you can kind of use that to your advantage and play around your poison mists uh, just to get around people. Because I mean, honestly, that could be very helpful. That could be really, really helpful. And a lot of people kind of give poison mists a lot of flack for being... Oh, it's the worst sub-special or sub-weapon in the game when... Honestly, a lot of people are really misinformed of how to really use it. And uh, they don't exactly understand how... I mean, how... I guess some good ways you can really use it. Because it basically is aerial area denial for a short period of time, so... I love Poison Mist, and I love this weapon. And, you know, the hate that this weapon gets, I don't think it should be... I don't think it should ever be a thing, so... But, either way... 
Uh, it's talking about the Stingray, talking about the Vanilla, the vanilla Jet Squelcher. Uh, of course, you can do that same, you know, thing with Burst Bombs, but of course, Burst Bombs. Uh, you can only use so much Burst Bombs in a close range situation, but for the Vanilla Jet Squelcher, yeah, close range, do that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button to let you guys know whenever I do upload a video. Also, consider joining my public Discord where you can go ahead and talk to myself and my Do Society community. It's also the greatest place on Earth to know when I do go live on Twitch. So, make sure that you go ahead and join that. So, with all that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. And I shall see you guys in a future one.